Rodents is without a doubt the worst killer rep. No, it's one of the worst movies of all time. And in a bad way. Uh, Brenda, I've been dangerous. Uh, Brenda, no one punk dance now. Brenda's so scary. Run away. Man want head from head, but Brenda wipes smile off face. Face won't fit with man crush like Jigsaw. Brenda's so awesome. Yeah, Brenda was the product of an experiment gone wrong. She grew to unbelievable proportions, and her rat buddies mutated into killer rats. Sometimes they're real and look harmless, and other times it's really bad, unnecessary CGI. This person in a rat costume as the main monster would have been fantastic if the rest of the movie wasn't a bunch of bull stuff. This may be the record for most inane scenes of walking. We see everything. I mean, this guy wants to find his cat, and we see him casually going down every single flight of steps, and there's a lot of them. I guess they were really trying to stretch out the running time. Oh, I just wanted to rip my eyes out through my mouth. It's so tedious. Just cut to the chase. There are other characters, some college students, who are visiting their chemistry buddy to partay. Woo! You remember your college days when you used to dress like this? Was this even a fad at one point? It looks uncomfortable. Ugh. And annoying. Come on, that's not sexy. I'm sexy. But that's only the tip of the crapberg. Not only are the characters annoying, and they need to die, their personalities keep changing. The movie starts out with them having a really good time, all fun and games. But then they just suddenly hate each other. There's nothing in the story that prompts this. Why be friends at all if you don't like anybody? But the biggest, most outrageous thing is the editing. Loves me. I got an A in his biology class. In the fun is that? Did she say classes twice? Biology class. In the fun is that? This is editing 101 on how not to edit a movie because you look silly when trying to make a serious tone movie. How long has that guy been rolling? And the truck's still exploding. It's still exploding. <laughs> the editing and camera are just absurd during the rat death scenes. Sometimes when a director moves the camera around on purpose, it's supposed to make the viewer feel disoriented. But here, it just makes me mad. What the- Why show that pipe? Why? It's rats killing people, not pipes! The editing is literally all over the place. It just gives the story no narrative structure. One example includes Jock Boy searching the place on his own. We don't see him again for 15 minutes. Then, while one girl is being attacked by Big Brenda outside, we finally see him being randomly attacked by a horde of rats in the basement simultaneously with the girl. It comes out of nowhere, and I'd completely forgotten about him. And there's a guy looking out a window and randomly screaming for help. Look at this. It's a train wreck. How can I immerse myself into a movie when the filmmakers can't even do it? It's a student film gone horribly wrong. Rodin sounds like the recipe for some good B-movie cheese, but it's a trap. Try and tangle with this one, and you're bound to get your finger pinched.